If you're looking for ways to improve your TikTok ads for your dropshipping business, then in this video, I'm going to give you a very powerful tip which will literally explode your TikTok ads if you only adhere to what I'm about to explain to you. Now, this is all backed by data, which we're going to dive in in a very second. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Welcome back guys and for those of you who are new here, my name's Jacob and on this YouTube channel I have been documenting my entire dropshipping journey starting from day one, showing you everything I've been through from losing a lot of money to making a lot of money to quitting because I lost a lot of money again to then coming back to dropshipping with new energy, new mindset and right now my business is doing very very well, probably better than ever before. This is the store uh, or the product that we started testing somewhere at the beginning of um, December, so probably 4th of December. We're going to dive in into my reports in just a second, but I just want to show you how much in sales we have generated and it, it is 100% thanks to the tip that I'm about to share with you. So we have generated in this store $56,500 since 4th of December and at the same time, I have another store which is also generating crazy profits. We started running ads and basically using this store probably at the beginning of this month. So probably actually maybe mid of December. I can't even remember. I'm losing track of everything. Nevertheless, since we started mid December, we have generated 15,000 euros in this store as well. This is mainly targeting European countries. So business is doing very well. Now, bear in mind that when I first started, I was literally on my own in this business. I was just learning, making a lot of mistakes. But now things took huge turn and I have actually team that is helping me to move this business forward. And I always want to be 100% transparent when I'm talking about my business, my numbers and what it really takes to succeed with dropshipping because when I first got into dropshipping, I got tricked by all of the gurus here on YouTube showing that it's so easy and effortless to actually succeed. Where in reality, and probably a lot of you guys who already tried dropshipping, found out that it's not as easy as they make it seem like, right? So for that reason, I always want to be 100% transparent. And what I want to say here is that even though my business is right now generating profits, both stores are profitable. Me personally, I don't actually make any money off it. So you may be wondering why that is. It's simply because the profits that are being generated are being put back into the business. I'm paying for the team. I'm paying for the ads and trying to grow this business where I have full team working on the business, generating profits so that eventually in the future, hopefully I'm going to be able to get out of the business and just take profits, which is what we all want. But for now, even though those stores are making profits, I personally don't benefit from it, um, which is fine. Okay, but now let's dive into the tip that I wanted to share with you. So let's jump in into my computer and let me talk you through what happened. So the product that I'm talking about here, which is basically the first store that I showed you on my phone, we started running ads to this product 4th of um, December. Probably, yeah, 4th of December, we spent not even $20 on TikTok ads. And by the way, this is what we usually do when we test products. We try not to jump in with huge budgets. We go with 20 to maybe sometimes $50 per day just to see what is going to be the response of the market. And what we have found is that when you first test products, when you use smaller budgets on TikTok, TikTok will be actually a lot more careful at spending that money and it will try harder to find the right people to actually generate sales. We found that with couple different products we were running in the past, successful and even those that were not profitable in the end, but we always found the same thing. Less money at the very beginning actually turns out to be a little bit better. So nevertheless, as you can see, we didn't generate a lot of profits. Now, I have my phone right here in front of me, so I can't really see the numbers uh, perfectly fine. But as you can see, the first day we have lost $19. So basically, we didn't generate any sales at all. But it gave us an indication that there are 
people who are interested in the product because we did generate some clicks. Maybe click through rate wasn't that good. Um, you know, the clicks were maybe not as cheap as we wanted them to, but those people who actually landed in the store, a lot of them added product to the cart or even reached checkout. So that's what we are looking for at the very beginning. We want to see the indicators in the TikTok analytics that this product has potential. And that's what we found in this case. So we decided to keep running ads for this product. And the next day we spend a lot more on ads, $157. And again, I can't really see the numbers exactly, but as you can see, we generated $7 in profit. So nothing to compare to what we actually spent on ads. But again, we didn't lose money, we broke even. So that was good sign for us that, again, there's still potential in this product. Now, in the past, when I was trying to test products, if I didn't get into the profit area in the first three days or so, I would move on to the next product. But that was a huge mistake because when you have indication that the product could be working, you're getting some sales even if they are not profitable, this only means that all you have to do is keep working on your marketing. Sometimes maybe pricing, offers, etc., which is exactly what we were doing in the store and in ads. But that's exactly what you want to do. So don't give up too early. At the same time, you have to be aware that if there are no indicators in your analytics that this product has potential, so maybe clicks are very expensive, like $1 clicks, you know, click for rate way below 1%, and it just doesn't seem to, to, to do very well, then move on. But if analytics are looking good, you're not getting sales, keep working on the product. That's exactly what we did. As you can see, for the first week or so, we were not really making any money, right? We were losing a lot of money. Actually, if you take a look, $66 lost here, $79 here, um, $2 here, but then $18 here. Now, as you can see, we were trying to figure out what will make the right people to stop scrolling because that's important as well. You want to get the right people to stop scrolling, not just any people, right? So we had to figure out what will be this scroll stopper. And that's why we kept spending money and losing money. But we knew that if we find this right scroll stopper, it's going to change everything. And it's exactly what happened because as you can see, Couple days later, maybe a week or so later, we finally found this perfect scroll stopper that made the right people to stop scrolling and pay attention to the rest of the ad. And as you can see, as soon as we did that, the first day, profits jumped to almost $100 in one day. Not huge, but good sign. And then the next day, it just completely exploded. $500, $546, $886 in profit, and it just kept going. In this probably week, maybe, after finding the right scroll stopper, we generated over $3,300 in pure profit. So made much more money back than what we lost at the beginning stages of trying to figure out the right ad strategy, ad scroll stopper, and everything else. So... Pay attention to your analytics. And when you see that there is potential in the product, people are adding it to cart, people are going to the checkout and there is some action going on. Most likely it's your ad that needs to get attention of the right people. When you find that, it's going to change your business. Now, unfortunately, I can't tell you what that is because you can't know. It's testing that will help you to find out what that is. Now, since we found this, one format of scroll stopper, if you like. We then went ahead and kept researching videos, trying to find different scroll stoppers. So different first three seconds of the videos that are similar to the first one that worked well. And we just recreated a bunch of different ads. And as you can see for the rest of the month, we just kept making crazy profits, even $1,100 in profits in one day right here. Very, very good profits. Now, it is all because we didn't stop and we kept trying to find what will make the right people to stop scrolling. So the next time you're going to be testing your products, don't just wing it with your video ads. Don't just try to use other people's video ads or completely use the same structure as other of your competitors are using. Try to think of something 
on your own. Try to be creative. And the questions you should ask yourself before you start creating those videos is who I want to sell this product to? Who is my target audience? If you're selling weight loss products to, I don't know, women over 40, what could be the first three seconds of the video that will get them to stop scrolling? Not teenagers, not young people, not men, but specifically women over 40. And if you dive in even deeper, maybe that's women over 40 who have kids, now you have even better idea of what first three seconds of the video could make them stop scrolling, right? So just go outside of the box here, keep trying to find good formula for your ads to get the right people to, to stop scrolling. And this is going to be literally 90% of your success. Now, obviously you still have to have a winning product. You still have to have a store, the right pricing and everything else. But once you have that nailed down and it's actually not that hard, you just need to look at what other people are selling and what other competitors are doing. Take that product and then try to think of how you can create better ads than them. That's exactly what we did and it worked out absolutely amazing. So hopefully you found this video valuable. Hopefully this will give you more motivation to spend extra time when creating your ads and researching what would work well for your potential audience. And if you did find it valuable, then please leave it a thumbs up. Please leave your comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Help me push this content to more people. I'm giving everything that I know on this YouTube channel pretty much completely for free. And I just want to help other people to start making money as well, hit their financial freedom and just live a good life. So, Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Take care.